edition of Hyde Events and welcome to Night of Illusions, the annual Directors Dinner 2018 by the Sri Lanka Institute of Directors right here at the Kingsbury. It's going to be a night full of good food and good entertainment as they have Sri Lanka's premium illusions show happening right here. So let's go ahead and see what this is all about right here on Hi TV. <laughs> Yasas with us right now, the founder and producer of Night of Illusions, the man behind it all tonight. Hi Yasas, how does it feel to be here? It's exciting. It's um, a third consecutive year with an international magician. So excited and looking forward to having a great show tonight. Also, if you could tell me a little bit about Night of Illusions and how it all began. Sure. So Night of Illusions started back in 2001 when I was a school student. So I've been, I learned my first trick in 1992 and my first public show was 96. But in 2001, I brought this show by the name of Night of Illusions. 2003, we rebranded it. So we had a website, uh, you know, I was doing a bit of marketing, so we brought it as a branded show. In 2016, for the first time in Sri Lankan history, we got international magicians to come to Sri Lanka. And that's Sean Farquhar. The only, uh, he's the second person to fool Penn and Teller twice. Also a two times world champion magician. Then uh, also we had the Cleverance, Tommy Ten and Emily, who were second place in America's Got Talent. That was in 2016. Then last year we had uh, Las Vegas magician Xavier Mortimer who is also, he just won the award for the best show in Las Vegas, beating David Copperfield, Chris Angel and all the other magicians. So he was here. We had Michael Finney who is also considered a com uh, comedy king plus a magician. We had Neil and Ashley, again uh, people who have been on Canada's Got Talent, Le Plus Cabaret du Monde and you know many other TV networks. And this year we have Danny Cole who just fooled Penn and Teller you know probably a month ago. He performed with Penn and Tell in Las Vegas in his show last week and I'm excited to have him here tonight. So I believe Night of Illusions now has become a premium magic entertainment brand in Sri Lanka and we showcase the best talents including local talents and there'll be a lot more of things that would happen in future. Also tell me about what's going to happen tonight. What is the show that you plan to have tonight? So Night of Illusions, uh, this year we've changed the format. Generally it's a theatre format. But this year we're having a sit-down dinner type of thing. So while you dine, you also have entertainment. And this is the similar concept that you would see in French, or uh, rather in France, uh, the programme La Plus Cabaret du Monde is something similar. So it's an experiment in a way. We are trying to see whether people could enjoy their dining and experience a new experience by going through a new act, seeing magicians. And um, let's see how it comes. And we have the most valuable person from tonight, Danny Cole, with me right now. Tell me, how does it feel to be here in Sri Lanka for the first time? It's thrilling. I've never been here. It's always been a dream to come here and check it out, and I'm thrilled. Also tell me now, uh, how does it feel to be working with Night of Illusions? Well, we've known each other a long time, and this is our first opportunity to actually do a show together. And his organization is fantastic, so everything's been great so far. Looking forward to the show tonight. If I asked you what's in store for us for tonight, what sort of a show are we to expect? Well, I brought some of my favorite illusions along. I've created all these things myself, and I'm excited to share them with the Sri Lankan audience. I'm sure most of you must be wanting to know, what was the experience like with Penn and Teller? Well, I was very nervous to do that because they're heroes of mine, and I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to fool them. I didn't think I would be able to, but it went really well, and it was accepted really well by them and it actually did fool them when I was on the show and I couldn't believe it, they're my heroes, so it was such great validation. And with us we have Preeti Joy Wardhana, the chairman of the Sri Lanka Institute of Directors. Hi sir, tell me how does it feel to be here tonight? It's my pleasure to be here tonight. Also tell me, what is the need to host an event like this? I mean it's being done annually, what is the need? Yeah, you know, Sri Lanka Institute of Directors, we are here to groom young upcoming directors to show them the way how to run companies ethically and efficiently with proper boardroom governance practices. So we have host of events but 
annually we have a mega event which is more of more entertainment so today we decided to have this uh, illusion of you know the, the magicians and all that you know so that's a mega event but in addition to that we have host of events monthly uh, in connection with our profession also if you could tell me what does the sri lanka institute of directors uh, function into yeah you know as i said that uh, we are here to groom upcoming and uh, budding directors to show the way how to run the companies ethically and efficiently so uh, because of that the, we have like panel discussions uh, seminars breakfast mornings coffee evenings and so on and so so forth to an gender diversity and various topics of interest and importance which will which is necessary for the country to benefit so that's all about what we are trying to do uh, i'm going to train you to do something uh, just close your eyes if i tap your right side like that i want to raise your right hand and drop it if i tap your left side good if i tap your leg even on the left side still raise your hands if what do you do good open your eyes open your eyes nothing nothing to worry i mean people are excited but sorry that's the thing <laughs> please don't because he needs to be relaxed on this <laughs> one Two, three. Close your eyes. Close your eyes, sir. Relax. Open your eyes, sir. You can take a seat, sir. <laughs> and we have the ever so gorgeous Ashila with us right now. Hi, Ashila. What do you think of tonight? It's nice. We're enjoying it, especially the magic. As long as we haven't disappeared yet, I think <laughs> we are good to go. What was your favorite part from the magic show? Mm, I think uh, where his wife came and did the butterfly, and it was matching her dress, so it was really nice. Also, is this your first time at the director's dinner? No, we have come here for the third time. So I think this is one of the best I think. So we'll be coming next year as well. Hopefully. <laughs> and we have Dil Rukshi with us right now. Hi Dil Rukshi, what do you think of tonight? Oh, it's very interesting. I was wondering whether I will also get disappeared <laughs> at some moment. But it's very interesting and exciting. Yeah. Also tell me what do you think of Slid hosting events like this, especially when it comes to an event that's being hosted annually? So we are regular at this event like you know every year we, we come here. and also i send a lot of uh, you know my uh, directors to be and like you know the high potentials to their programs and all that so yeah we have been partnering with uh, slit for a long time yeah will you be coming next year as well perhaps yeah i'm hoping to come i don't know what will happen yes and we have david with us right now he was rather forced or challenged into being in this interview with us tell me david how's it going tonight it's great we just really enjoy the evening and uh, i'm actually great that we became partners for the event and it's uh, really appreciative that uh, we are part of the slida and it's nice it's great also tell me what do you think of them hosting events like this annually uh, yes it's great it's a great fellowship and uh, we all uh, had great time together and it's real good good networking i'd say And tonight you got to witness um great food and great in entertainment. Yes. What do you have to say about the um magic show? It was nice. Uh, they have brought uh, really good talented people and it was great uh, seeing the delusions. I think it's very rare people have some kind of a magic events uh, in uh, social yeah yeah. It's it's very nice. And usually a small object like a coin.
are with Shiromal right now. Hi, how do you how do you feel to be here tonight? Nice, the magic show was fabulous. Good, very good. Also, what do you think was your favorite segment from tonight? Was it the food or the entertainment or the fellowship? I like the entertainment very much. Yeah. Also, tell me, what do you think of Slid hosting events like this, a fellowship that happens every year? What have you got to say? It's good to have the directors and their guests coming up and meeting people and also to expose to different types of entertainment. Great. It's nice. Very good. And we have Dilani with us right now. Hi, Dilani. How does it feel to be here tonight? Hi. Uh, it's great. It's uh, meeting up with friends and the entertainment is nice and also the food and, you know, it's general camaraderie, I would say. What do you think of the magic show? I loved it. It was very nice and just unusual. It was not uh, the ordinary we would see. Yeah. And we have two ladies who have been enjoying the night today, Arushi and Delai. Hi girls, how are you all feeling? Hi, very good, thank you. It's a beautiful show, um, unusual, uh, night of illusions, exceptional magic uh, that we're seeing. Yet more to come, I think. Yeah? What do you think? Yes, I didn't expect all this. And actually it was quite a surprise to have this illusionist with us. Yeah. And, and the local talent is very good as well, not just Danny Cole. Um, who's uh, yes, been sir. flown in. Yasas is excellent as well. Yeah. So what was your favorite part from tonight? Was it the food, the entertainment or the fellowship? I think the ambience created by all of it together uh, is really, you know, uh, I'm on the council of the Sri Lanka Institute of Directors and this is what we are trying to do, really make an evening for directors, you know. So How do you think they should improve for next year? I really can't think of anything right now because so they've really fulfilled your expectations. Yes, yes definitely, definitely. Your eyes may be whole. But the story I'm told is your heart is as black as night Your lips may be sweet such that I can't compete But your heart is as black as night I don't know why it came along at such a perfect time but if I let you hang around, I'm bound to lose my mind Cause your hands may be strong, but the feelings are wrong Your heart is as black as night Such a perfect time But if I let you hang around I'm bound to lose my mind Heart is as black As night oh, And that's a wrap from the annual Directors' Dinner, Night of Illusions, right here from the Kingsbury. Catch me again on another exciting episode of High Events. Till then, this is Naviksha signing out for High TV.